how to calculate molecular mass or molecular weight firstly remember that molecular mass is usually associated with covalent compounds we know that covalent compounds are formed when non metals plus non metals react together for example hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas react together to form h2o now this is a molecule of water and its mass is known as molecular mass therefore note it down that molecular mass is usually known as the mass of molecules having covalent bond now let me teach you the super easy trick of calculating molecular mass or molecular weight firstly i write some common non metals like hydrogen carbon nitrogen phosphorus oxygen sulfur fluorine chlorine and bromine along with their respective atomic masses if you want to learn the super easy trick of memorizing first 20 elements of the periodic table with atomic numbers and atomic masses watch our video and its link is given in the description now consider these molecules and find their respective molecular masses well we can see that there is one atom of hydrogen and there is one atom of chlorine present in hcl now i add their respective atomic masses we know that the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 unit and the atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5 unit now i add their respective masses i get 36.5 unit so the molecular mass of hcl is 36.5 u in case of h2o we can see that there are two atoms of hydrogen and there is one atom of oxygen now i add their respective atomic masses we know that the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 unit the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 unit so i write 2 into 1 plus 16 which is equal to 18 unit so the molecular mass of h2o is 18 unit in case of carbon dioxide gas we can see that there is one atom of carbon and there are two atoms of oxygen i add their respective atomic masses we know that the atomic mass of carbon is 12 unit the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 unit so i write 12 plus 2 into 16 which is equal to 44 unit so the molecular mass of carbon dioxide is 44 unit Let's note it down the molecular masses of these molecules. Now let me teach you some difficult examples. Consider these molecules and find their respective molecular masses. We can see that there is one atom of phosphorus and there is three atoms of chlorine. Also we know that the atomic mass of phosphorus is 31 and the atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5. I write 31 plus 3 into 35.5, which is equal to 137.5 unit. So the molecular mass of PCl3 is 137.5 unit. In case of this molecule, we can see that there are two atoms of hydrogen, there is one atom of sulfur, and there are four atoms of oxygen. Now we already know about the atomic mass of hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. I write 2 into 1 plus 32 plus 4 into 16. After calculation, I get 98 unit. So the molecular mass of H2SO4 is 98 unit. In case of this glucose molecule, we can see that there are six atoms of carbon, there are 12 atoms of hydrogen, and there are six atoms of oxygen. We already know about the atomic masses of these atoms. So I write 6 into 12 plus 12 into 1 plus 6 into 16. After calculation, I get 180 unit. So the atomic mass of glucose is 180 unit. Therefore, remember this easy trick through which we can calculate the molecular mass of any molecule.